Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting and tricky question. We need to simplify this expression. We have square root of 5.25 minus square root of 5. If you have your answer, your approach, you can also write your approach down into the comment section and then we will check our answer. So it will be really interesting because this is very, very tricky question. So what we're going to do at first, let's split this 5.25 as 5 plus 0 0.25. So let's start with that. Okay, our first step instead of this 5.25, let's write 5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 and minus square root of 5. Don't forget about it. Minus square root of square root of 5. So this is our first step. So I really hope you I really hope you understand uh, this first step. What we're going to do uh, as a second step. Uh, near this square root of 5, I'm going to write uh, the next product. So we have a square root of 5 plus 0 0.25 and minus right here I'm gonna I want to write the next expression I'm gonna write 2 times 1 half because it changed nothing this is equal to and uh, this is equal to 1 because we can easily cancel it and don't forget about this times square root of times square root of 5 equal to. Don't ask me why in the few seconds you can understand why I write this product before this before this square root of 5. Because what is the main idea to solve this question? The main idea to solve this question is to create a square inside this uh, square root sign. Because when you have, for example, square root of uh, square root of uh, 3 square, of course you can easily cancel it and as a result you simplify this a lot because we have we have 3. And it is the main idea in our question because when you have square root of a squared, like general expression, you can easily cancel it and as a result we have as a result uh, our answer equal to absolute value of a. So the main idea is to create a square, but what square formula do we know? We know the, the next formula, a minus b square, so a minus b square. This formula looks like that, a square, a square, plus b square, we can write it like that, plus b square, and minus 2 a, B. So right now let's try, let's try to create, instead of this expression, let's try to create this formula. So we need to have the sum of two squares and minus two times a product of these values, A and A, a and B. So right now let's try to think how can we, how can we do this. So first of all, instead of this 5, let's write square root of 5 to the second power instead of this 5. So square root of 5 to the to the second power. We can easily do this because square root of 5, square root of 5 to the second power, we can easily cancel it and as a result we have only only 5. So we can do that, it change nothing. This 0 0.25, how can we how can we express it? What is the best way? Mm, how can we mm, how can we express this uh, 0 0.25? Let's try to express this as 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to the second power. Okay, let's do this. Let's express it like that. 0 0.25, 0 0.25 equal to 0 0.5 to the second power. Yeah, equal to 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.25. So we can easily express this 0 0.25 like that. And the next thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna rewrite this. So we have 2 times 1 half and times square root of square root of 5. If you look closely, we have something in common. I'm not gonna lie, we have something, something in common. We have a square, b square, we have two, and this looks like our a, one half, 0 0.5, this is our a, so let's rewrite it. Like for better understanding, let's rewrite it or both in a, in a fraction way or in a decimal. Let's rewrite both expressions in a fraction way. Okay, let's do this. So we have square root of, we have square root of five to the second power, we leave it like that plus 0 0.5 equal to 1 half, yeah, 0 0.5, we have 0 0.5 equal to 5 over 10 equal to 1 half, yeah, so we can write it as 1 half to the second power, and minus 2 times, uh, let's change position, square root of 5 on the second position, 1 half on the third, square root of 5 times 1 one half. And right now, the great moment, because on the bottom of it, I'm going to write this formula once more, so uh, our formula a square, plus b square, yeah, plus b square, and minus 2ab, minus 2ab, and this is equal to a minus b square, so a minus b to the to the second power. Okay, right now let's look closely what do we have right here exactly in our question. So we have square root of 5 to the second power, we have square root of 5 right here, so let's let use this as a, so this is our a square, and this is also our a, this is also our a right here, and we have 2, 
yeah we're really, really great and we have one half square this is our b square and we also have one half so we can consider this expression f a minus b squared. so difference we raise to the to the second power so let's continue right here so we can write it as square root of a minus b square so a equal to square root of five yeah so we have square root of five minus 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 what do we have right here we can write it as 0 0.5 or, or this is up to you we can we have one half or, or let's write one half doesn't matter so minus one half to the to the second power and as i said before when you have this this structure we have it right here the answer is absolute value of this of this expression so we can cancel it of course but as a result we have absolute value of square root of five minus one half for better understanding let's change this one half to 0 0.5 it's easier for us to work with it so absolute value of square root of five minus 0. 0 0.5 and why i put absolute value brackets i'm going to explain you a really interesting tricks a little bit later in one minute but right now let's solve our question completely so how can we how can we evaluate how can we solve how can we simplify this expression with absolute value we need to find out what is the sign of this expression okay if this positive or negative square root of five is greater than 0 0.5 yeah square root of 5 is like 2 point something 2.2 something like that yeah it's also greater than 0 0.5 so we can actually get rid of these absolute value brackets so as a result square root of 5 minus 0 0.5 is a correct it's a correct answer and we can't simplify this more square root of five we can't find out what is the answer right here minus 0 0.5 we can't simplify this more so this is our uh, our answer and if you're interested in an in approximately answer maybe you um, need to like estimate this uh, square root so sometimes you know a lot of students uh, know about uh, square root of five approximately equal to uh, 2.23 2.23 so sometimes you can easily estimate uh, this answer so this is equal to 2.23 minus 0 0.5 and approximately answer equal to 1.73 it's not necessary it's up to you but sometimes you can you can estimate it so let's write our final answer to this question so our answer uh, our, our first step in the beginning so 5.25 minus square root of 5 is equal to square root of 5 minus 0 0.5 and of course if you're interested in approximately answer because sometimes you can you, you can possibly like know uh, about a square root of five and as a result you can get that this is equal to uh, 1.73 from here so 1.7 it's not necessary this is up up to you of course you don't know a square root of 67 square root of 75 but sometimes you know that you can easily you know, like write approximately approximately answer to this question so extremely great question right now i'm gonna say uh, i'm gonna show you really important tricks so this is our solution i really hope you understand it and right now i'm going to show you a really important a uh, really important tricks about this absolute value because a lot of students forget about it a lot of students mm, like don't know how can we solve this uh, correctly so first of all i'm gonna show you this really important trick for example well, imagine you have square root of uh, like right here we have uh, three or like let's write five minus square root of two something like that as i said before we can easily cancel this expression right you cancel this square root of sine and this two as a result we have no not five minus square root of two but absolute value five minus square root of two and you you have to check right now you need to you need to check uh, the sign what is the sign of this expression if this positive expression or negative in our case five is greater than square root of two so this expression is positive so we need to put plus uh, this is a correct way how can we write it five minus a square root of two and of course it changed nothing so five minus square root of two but sometimes happen in our case um we we don't see this uh, second case uh, but uh, generally when you have square root of for example let's let's start with one minus square root of seven something like that to the second power of course you can and cancel it this is a correct way but the answer is not one minus square root of seven forget about it you need to put absolute value brackets and in this case one is less than square root of seven so it means that this expression is negative so we need to put at minus one minus square root of seven we change uh, this thing change uh, everything because right here we have square root of seven minus one and you know sometimes um, this uh, question is extremely uh, extremely popular in a test because if you have this question you, you like need to simplify it and you have one minus square root of seven and square root of seven minus one both answers looks like the same no but in 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 a general case correct answer is only this one not this one because one minus square root of seven is negative 
and if we're talking about square root sign this expression cannot be cannot be negative so this is extremely important uh, tips for your first tip and the second tip but if you know it you can easily be proud of yourself that you understand these two these two tricks so our answer 1.73 square root of 5 minus 0 0.5 here's our solution so step by step we we like expand it we try to create a square because uh, there is no another way how can we solve this question with, without creating a square inside this uh, square root sign when you create a square it's uh, it's not always possible but you know in our case we can uh, we can uh, simplify it we can create a, a square so few tricks few really important uh, tricks you can easily post the video and i really hope you understand you can understand my explanation so thank you for your time wish all the best in your life take care of yourself write your notes write your response write your thoughts what do you think about this question in the comments below let's discuss a little bit about it maybe you you have something to say you have something to uh, to command to write uh, different stories about this type of question this is like a great question a great algebraic question for everyone and i think that if you're not like a professor a teacher math teacher everyone can use the test or mass knowledge this is not that hard and i really enjoyed this type of question and i i think you enjoy this question as well so thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos